Hello everybody. So if you're just as annoyed as I am with the side buttons of the Zeus E2 mouse, these mouse buttons here, this one here on the top and this one here on the bottom. All right, there's nothing here on the side, but here and here. If you're as annoyed as I am with these mouse buttons, and you wanna stop them from functioning. Well, unfortunately, you can't do it in the software. You can't do it in the hardware. There's only one way to do it, and that is with some needle nose pliers. So what I'm going to do for the first time ever, I am going to try to remove the buttons from this mouse without breaking the entire mouse. Now, before you say, what, you're crazy. Why don't you just give me that mouse? You know, it's a $15 mouse. You can pick them up on eBay for 15 bucks. So why would I want to waste my time mailing something that's gonna cost me six bucks to mail when it's only worth 15 bucks? It's not a programmable mouse. So what I'm doing basically is just taking this screwdriver here and I'm gonna attempt to pop it out without breaking the housing. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna give it a shot. I got other mouses, so I'm not worried about that. If it breaks the mouse, then it breaks the mouse, you know? I'm not worried about that at all. So here is this part. Let me just use that to wedge there. And I'm gonna grab this. Now the question is, Will what I'm doing break the functionality of the mouse buttons on the top? And I'm not quite sure. So nothing, oh, look at that. Boom, took off like a rocket ship. All right, so that's good. That's problem number one solved. Let's see, is the mouse working? Yeah, let's see, I'm gonna just test it. You know something, screw it. Let's go ahead and try to remove this one also. Now that I have a little nook in here. All right, we're just doing this. Removing it. Brute force. Brute force is what I wanna do here. I don't want it to go inside. So I'm gonna just kinda of twist it around and kinda of see if I can rip this sucker out without it popping inside. That's That would be, a oh, look at that that simply came right out. So you do gotta, you gotta be pretty aggressive with it. So there you go. The mouse button has been removed. So now let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna show you my screen here. There's that. I'm gonna adjust the monitor so you can see it clearly. All right, so. Hmm. Little bit of adjustment here I think I need there we go so just uh, let you know what I needed to do um, just now this little plastic part was popped out too far so therefore the this part here wasn't wanting to work as clean so now what I did was I used the screwdriver I pried this up I popped that in and now she works, as you can see. Let's uh, put on, I don't know, what, what, what do you wanna watch here? Uh, let's, let's give it a shot. Take a look and see what's going on here. Hmm, that's working. Oh, there we go. Look at that. So, no more problem with the mouse. That works. Left button works. Oh, look at that. 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 Oh, 
What are we doing? So it looks like it works. The solution is simple. Remove this with this, with that, and use a relatively small, let me show you, here's my finger and there's the thing. So not a big screwdriver, but small one, you know? And then that removes that, and now you got a fully functioning now, don't forget, this was a dumb mouse to begin with. And they call it dumb, meaning it was non-programmable. So all I did was uh, remove it. It wasn't glued or anything in there. It was just in there with some springs. Nothing's moving around inside, which is great. And um, there we go. She functions perfectly. I'll never have to worry about my thumb hitting those side mouse buttons at all and paging my thing forward or paging it backwards. It is now a beautiful mouse, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe and like the video or not. It doesn't matter to me, but I, I do love you guys for watching. Bye.